Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another New York Giants video. This might be short, I'm not too sure because I'm only going to be talking about one player in this video. I I think I'm going to do one on um, Nico Lalos or Nikos Lalos, however you pronounce his name, the defensive end out of Dartmouth that we signed, the undrafted free agent. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one yet. I'm gonna see how much info I can gather and if it could really constitute a you know good enough video. And I'm not even sure if I'm convinced uh, about how how much I trust this guy yet. You know, it's it's always a process with the undrafted free agents. Before I do a specific breakdown video for any one of them, I want to make sure that I actually believe they can do something. Now, this that's kind of the case with the player. You know, the topic of today's video, as you saw by the, the title and the thumbnail, Javon Leak the undrafted free agent running back that we signed out of Maryland. Now, Javon Leak, uh, in my, you know, I had a huge kind of overview general video about the free agents that we signed. And I said in that video that out of everybody here, I think the wide receivers have a better chance than any of them to make the roster. And I still hold that opinion. I, I still think that that's the case because a lot of people don't realize that right now the wide receiver room is thinner than the other rooms that for players that we kind of signed right we signed people for the linebacking room we signed people for the secondary we signed like one running back and then we signed people for the wide receiver room out of all of those groups the wide receivers right now they have um i think four or five guys that are actually on contract for the giants sterling shepherd golden tate obviously uh darius slayton obviously corey coleman who we re-signed during the free agency period and Cody Core, who was still on the team as a special teamer. He's a wide receiver, obviously, but he's on here for his special teams talent. In fact, you can make the argument that Coleman is on here for his special teams talent. Also, we haven't seen him play wide receiver, you know, or anything in a year. But I'm fine with the starting wide receivers. I've said it a bajillion times is the depth that I'm worried about. And that's why I, I hold the opinion that the four undrafted wide receivers we signed have a better chance of making the team just because of the numbers game. Now let's get into Javon Leak. I'll admit straight up right away, I said I, you know, I, I don't think he's gonna make the roster when I'm uh, doing that video. I overlooked his, um, I overlooked his talent and his potential as a special teamer. I still don't think he's gonna make the roster if they try to use him as a running back because we have a pretty good running back room. But if they bring him in and he's gonna be out there show offing and showcasing his special teams talent, dude definitely has a chance to make the roster because. Uh, another thing that I've said a lot of times, Joe Judd is out here fixing up the special teams and you know making it a actually a major part of the organization as a whole. From you know signing Casey Crater, the new long snapper, something you know a move that a lot of people looked over, but that I love because I believe it's going to help Aldrick Rosas in the long run. Uh, you know, continuing to sign linebackers. In my opinion, some of the linebackers we drafted were for for special teams. I believe that's just my opinion. I think Joe Judge is really focusing on that in a little, you know, small ways that we don't see. So let's talk about Javon Lee. Six foot flat, 215 pounds, ran a 4.65 at the combine with a vertical jump of 34 inches and broad jump of 125 inches. On the jump is each pretty good, but he was disappointing at the 40 yard dash because anywhere you look, and even when you look at his tape, the one thing uh, or the one word that comes out to mind when you look at Leak is speed and productivity. As a running back, um, where he was an outside threat for Maryland, had 736 rushing yards, average of 7.9 yards a carry over his career with 17 touchdowns, definitely shows that he has potential as you know a very elusive running back, which is why I thought and still think he's not going to make it as that. And exactly why he had a disappointing combine in the sense that his speed on the field did not match up with his speed at the 40 yard dash. Now it's pretty well documented that I'm not a big combine guy so even if our uh, running back room wasn't that filled, I, or I should say if our running back room wasn't that filled I actually would have faith in him making it on the team as a running back but like I said I definitely overlooked his special teams talent and that's where that's where his uh his value lies in he was one of the nation's best kickoff returners last year being named uh the big 10 return specialist of the year in 2019 and he was third in the football bowl subdivision with 804 return yards averaging 26.8 yards per kickoff return with two touchdowns and then at maryland 
He averaged 24 and a half yards on 59 returns, had three touchdowns, and even had a 100-yard return for a touchdown. So just looking at the value he has special teams-wise, this guy had elite playmaking ability and it had great production at the college level. And with the way he plays, you know what I'm saying, because he's a lethal outside runner, incorporate that into his special teams talent because he's, you know, a speedy guy. Because of the way he's built, actually, he has a kind of a lean built. I like the way his weight is distributed throughout his body. He has good instincts and, you know, he's, he's more explosive than he looks. As a returner, this guy can definitely make the roster. He can definitely crack it. Like I said, we haven't seen Corey Coleman played in one year, right? It's been a whole year. Cody Core, while good as a punt returner, I think he's better at that and at covering punts and kickoffs than he is at returning, you know, kicks rather than punts. Corey Ballantyne, you know, he was he was okay at returning kicks. Not in the right home about, but definitely not terrible at it either. Can definitely be replaced. And like I said, Joe Judge has been fixing up and kind of retooling this special teams, which was already pretty good last year. For the past two years, 2018 and 2019, uh, despite Aldrich Rosas' step back in 2019, the special teams for the Giants have been really good, especially in the coverage unit. I mean, if there is one place they can use improvement, it would be the return game. And I can see this guy, you know, possibly cracking the roster as that. So that's what I want to, you know, say about Javon Leak. Once again, I admit I overlooked his special teams ability. And if he could come on here and do what he did in college, which is always a flip of the coin, you know, I say all the time. Just because you performed really well in college doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to transfer to the NFL. And the same could be same could be said for the other way around. Because you perform terribly in college doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be terrible in the NFL. But I would be happy if this dude cracks the roster as a uh, kick returner for the Giants. Because I think he's, he could be better in, um, than Corey Ballantyne. If he does punts also, that'd be great. But showing what he did in the, at the college level, if that transfers... I'll be more than happy and I gotta say thank you to the commenters out there, the viewers that watch my videos that let me know about this. You know, it, it is, it's good every now and then to be, you know, called out on your missteps. So let me know what you guys think. That's what I got for you all for now and I'm out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.